I think they have to be aware of good sexual health. I mean, at the end of the day, they like to go out, they like to party. That obviously leads on to other things as well. So they need to be aware that there are things out there that they don't want to be getting. And if they do, then they've got to make sure that they take the test and deal with it because it's going to lead to issues in later life, if not now. They're going to have symptoms and they need to be able to talk about those and uh, be able to kind of knock those on the head. That's one of the issues. People don't talk about STIs. What do you think you can do to encourage people to take the test, to tackle the taboo? Well, hopefully we'll be able to tackle the taboo on the Cool Clinic. Uh, we will be doing an awful lot during um, the coming year uh, with Confidant and hopefully having a bit of a chat as to what um, some of the symptoms could be uh, and uh, hopefully getting them some type of advice on what they can do if they do find out that they have any symptoms. My listeners enjoy lots of different things. In fact, it's quite scary whenever you ask them, what are you doing as you listen to the show? Sometimes you don't want the answer. <laughs> so um, they, they do go, I mean, don't get me wrong, my listeners are a wide range of ages, but I mean, there's an awful lot of people out there who do go out in a wide range of ages and uh, manage to get themselves into a few issues as well as far as their sexual health is concerned. Hopefully by talking about it on the show, it will tackle that taboo and we will encourage them to be a wee bit more open and honest about their sexual health.